Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles right here in Mansfield, Texas. I'm here today to show you a pretty interesting car. This is a one of the Cobra, lack of better words I'll call it a kit car. You, you can buy the car, take it home, put it together, choose your drivetrain and have a fun weekend toy. There are some companies like Superformance, which are the top tier, and I don't even call those kit cars because those are rolling chassis that are built and you put your drivetrain in them. And a lot of people buy these and they'll put a Mustang fuel injected 302, or they might put a 351 Windsor. Uh, some people put Smetting 427s in them. There's a lot of small block high performance options today. Well, what's kind of interesting, this car was actually built in the 90s, the early 90s. The, the date on the registration sticker is 1992. So the car was probably sourced around 89 or 90. Took a couple years to put together. And what's interesting about this car, there's two things. Uh, the first being, Back in the 90s, they didn't have Smetting 427s, and they didn't have 351 Windsors that were known to have good performance. So they chose an Era Correct FE Big Block, and this one has dual quad carburetors. So when you pop the hood and you see the valve covers and you see the the exhaust manifolds, you recognize that it's an FE. And back in the day, the original Cobra had a, had a 427 side oiler. And if you read about the history of Shelby and Cobra, they ran short on those side oiler motors. And somewhere in the production, Shelby had to make a certain number of cars so that they could also race these cars. They went from the side oiler 427 to a police interceptor 428, which you think it's one cubic inch bigger, but the, the difference in the motor, the crankshaft, the, the, ro the rotating assembly was way, way different. And it upset a lot of people. In fact, there were some lawsuits because people thought they were getting the 427, they were getting a 428. Anyway, we don't know the size of this motor. It says 427 on the valve covers, but that means nothing. It is an FE. It could be a 390. It could be a 410. It could be a 427. What's interesting, the crankshaft on the 427 and 390 are the same. The difference is the bore. So the only way to really know would be to measure the pistons, measure the cylinders. And since this car was put together in the early 90s, we just don't have that information. So we're going to call it a big block, FE, we don't know the size, and a dual quad, but a nice look under the hood. It's even got the correct style overflow tank, what they call over. But anyway, I'll quit boring you with the, the motor. But it's got plenty of torque for this car, I promise you. Another thing that's kind of interesting, back in the day, Carroll Shelby built a couple of, they called them super snakes. One was his personal car, and one he sold to Bill Cosby, the comedian. Well, Bill took delivery of the car, drove it like twice, and he took it back to Carroll and said, I just can't, just buy this car back for me, I'm gonna kill myself. So, anyway, they bought the car back. They sold it to another non-famous person who actually died in the car, drove it off a cliff in California. One of those scenic Highway 1 deals. But anyway, Carol's Super Snake, the only thing similar to this car in his car was the automatic transmission. And to me, when you drive one of these sports cars, the thrill of the car is shifting the gears. And a lot of people put five speeds in them. The early Cobras had top loader four speeds. The fifth gear gives you a nice overdrive. 
So the kind of the draw to this car or could be a negative would be the automatic transmission. There's people out there that don't want to push a clutch, that don't want to shift gears. Well, this car is made for you with the automatic. It shifts smooth. It, it actually drives pretty good. It's a lightweight car with a lot of power. So you really have to be careful. So if you're looking for a Cobra with an automatic and an FE motor, and sorry to bore you with some of that Cobra, Shelby Cobra history. There's a lot to read and a lot of good information on the internet. Um, let's start it up and I'll let you hear it. Let's see, yeah. is really pretty on this car considering the age of the car uh, I'd say the paint's pretty amazing actually it has been in a car collection and has been in storage uh, they do have a mechanic that would regularly keep the battery up change the oil and just kind of keep it serviced the guys in the oil business You can tell it's got a nice little bump stick inside. I like the red with the white stripes. It's a good, good classic look. Now a real Shelby back in the day would not have radio speakers in the back. So there's something that the purists might want to get rid of those, cover them up, nor would it have a radio. But it's a cool car. It's not $150,000. And how many people can say they've got a Cobra with an FE motor and an automatic transmission. And they didn't spend a hundred thousand. It's a weekend cruiser, it's a toy, it's fun. But again, I'm sorry to bore you with this long video, but it's just information that people want to know. Have a great day. I'm Bronco Bob. I wish you happy trails. If you buy this car, we can arrange shipping anywhere in the USA or anywhere in the world. Thank you for your time and hope you like this video.